Hey everybody, Adam here. So this is a full in-depth walkthrough of the Koala AI platform. Koala AI is probably my favorite AI tool on the marketplace. It's been around for a while. It gets continually upgraded. It's got great support. However, I do find that when you log in for the first time, it's very difficult to find good quality training or tutorials on how to use it. Now, when you watch this video, there is a chance that they may have added some features. There are certain things that might be different, but this is up to date as of today, which is the 19th of September. If you do have a paid plan with Koala, then you'll also get access to my bonus course where I walk you through some features and functionalities. There'll be a link below if you don't have an account. So it's basically made up of several main sections. The first one here we'll click on is Koala Chat. Koala Chat is very similar to ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini. It's an AI chatbot experience. So you can check this for real time data and you can ask it a question. So for example, I could say, please tell me the most dangerous country in the world and hit enter and it's just going to answer questions so if you've just got questions or you want it to brainstorm ideas or whatever it might be then you can use koala chat but you could also use chat gpt gemini claude etc and it'll be very similar they do have a prompt library down here that you can click on so if you do have specific things that you'd like to focus on then you can definitely do that so for example, FAQ generator, landing page copy, customer case study, YouTube video to blog, just play around with this stuff and you can get used to that. Now, the main reason that people grab Koala is for their Koala writer section, which basically creates good quality long form content. You won't get this kind of content just by using ChatGPT, uh, Claude or Gemini, etc. So I'm gonna basically walk you through very briefly how to create an article. So we've got this which we don't touch, or at least I don't touch. Projects, you can create as many projects as you want and you can just create projects based on websites, niches, whatever you got. But this is the important thing here, you've got these three models. So we've got GPT-4 Mini, GPT-4 and Claude 3.5. So this is a new one here and you can see here that these two use two times more words. So basically what this means is Koala Writer, depending on the paid plan that you've got, you'll get a specific number of credits that will replenish each month. If you want to use any of these two sections to write, any of these two models to write your content, it's going to give you better content, but you're going to use more credits. So it's entirely up to you. For me, I'm not a huge fan of using AI to create long form content because it does require some editing but you'll wanna use one of these two. So let's click on this one for now. This is new, and you can see here it's the highest quality and it works very well with custom writing styles. Now, as for the article type, we've got these different things here. Um, listicle is the one that I use the most. There is blog post here by default, local places roundup, Amazon product roundup, product review, YouTube video to blog post, and rewrite blog post. So if you've got a blog post somewhere else that you wanna rewrite, choose this one. If you find a great video that you would like to rewrite into a blog post, choose this one. I personally don't like using AI for any kind of review stuff because I think by default that makes it fake. A review should be something that you have actually reviewed. You know, AI basically takes this content from whatever's already out there. And you and I both know that reviews are never really reviews. There's somebody trying to get you to buy something through an affiliate link. The uh, internet is already full of trash as it is. So don't add more to it by using any kind of AI to write any kind of review. It's lazy, it's disrespectful to customers, and you wouldn't want to buy a review based on some AI that may or may not be accurate. So anyway, we'll choose listicle for now, but you can choose what you want. Target keywords, so I could say, for example, top 10 shrines in Japan, for example. Absolutely anything you want. List numbering, again, choose what you want. I'll leave it as it is. Um, list item prompt, it depends on how long you want your article to be, but I'm gonna have 150 words per list item. Enable supplemental information, you can have that if you want. Enable automatic length, and you can have that if you want. Again, you can just turn these on, turn these off. You wanna play around with this stuff and just find out what, what works best for you. You can um, incorporate one, your domains in here. I've done this already. So if you wanna have one of your domains that you've already connected to Koala, you can do so. And it will automatically go through your website and see if it can find relevant internal links. 
Then if we come down here, do you want it to automatically add images, videos, uh, etc. So play around with this stuff. Now, understand for images, these are going to be AI images and there are going to be certain niches, certain markets that you just don't want to use AI and travel, which is the website that I'll be using, is not something that you want to use AI on because it's fake. You know, the search engines aren't stupid. Uh, I'd rather use real images. And again, similarly with things like food, if you've got an AI image of you know, a certain dish, it just looks cheesy, it looks fake. And at the end of the day, we're not writing articles for the fun of it. We want these articles to be good quality, to add value, but also to convert, whether that's to get people to opt in to get a freebie, to click on an affiliate link, whatever that might be. We don't want people to leave because the images aren't very good. So I'll talk about images later, but I'm going to just click on none. Tone of voice, I prefer to use friendly. Now again, in this bonus course, I do give you some custom prompts for this, but assuming you don't have that, um, language, I'm going to use UK because that's where I'm from, but of course you might want to choose US. Uh, point of view, first or second person is probably going to be better, not third person. So I'm going to go with um, first person for this. Now these are important. I always want to check this, but I do find that even though I check this, I do need to do one extra step. I want to use real-time data. That's very important. Um, I don't want to cite the sources because I want to actually manually add external links to other people's websites where I see fit. I want an outline editor because I want to see the outline before we go ahead and write it. Now for this particular one, I don't need an FAQ section, but if you're having a different kind of article, you may want to do that. As for advanced options, if you want to add extra prompts, you can. So for example, extra section prompt, just hover over this little eye and it will tell you, and then you can type something in and we'll click create outline and it's going to give us an article outline before it writes the article because we asked it to do so. So again, we can go through. Now, we want, to we want to make sure that this is accurate. So if you don't know anything about Japanese shrines and you don't know if these are real shrines or good, good ones, then of course, why use AI? Because you're not going to be able to fact check it. I've lived in Japan for 25 years. Um, I, rec <coughs> excuse me, I recognize these. However, I do want to change one. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to put in Atsuta Shrine, which is near where I live, and it's one of the top three shrines in Japan. So I'm going to hit save. Um, and again, we've got shrines and it's got temples in here. So you can see it's not exactly accurate, is it? So I'm going to get rid of this because I want shrines, not temples, and they are different. It's a shrine, hit save. And I'm going to pause the video and I'm just going to go through and remove these temples and make sure that we've got shrines. So give me two secs. Okay, so I've gone through and I've done that. Now for this particular article, I don't need any other information. So I'm going to get rid of the cultural significance, shrine architecture. This might be a nice little bit to add to the end. So once we've got this, we can hit on write article and we've just got to wait and it's going to start writing shortly and we just need to have it right. So again, if you don't know the subject matter, if you can't you know, fact check this stuff, then please don't use AI because you're going to have information that's not factually correct. And as you saw, when I created the outline, it didn't actually follow my instructions perfectly. It mixed up shrines and temples. So as we go through, we can see that we've got this. And I think this is slightly bigger than 150 words that I wanted, but it is what it is. We're going to wait for this to go. So again, I'll pause the video. OK, so we have our article draft here and we want to make sure that you can go through and you can proofread it and you can make sure that it's factually accurate. But you may find that there are things that you want to change. So I'm going to come straight to the top and I'm just going to click on polish and we've got all these checked by default. So I'm going to hit start polish and it's going to make the article better. Now, what I would do, and this goes beyond the scope of this video because we're only focused on Koala, I would take this and I would run it through Hemingway AI to ensure the readability of this is a bit better. I would also check it with Grammarly so that there are any you know, tiny grammatical errors ironed out. And I'd probably manually delete a few things, add a few things and just double check that everything makes sense and it flows. Then when I added this to my website, it would be have good readability, it would be grammatically and factually accurate. And then I would manually add images. As I, as I live in Japan, I've got images of most of these places so I can actually add in unique images and where I don't, 
I have access to a photographer here and then I can take images that they've got and have the rights to use them. So I'm not gonna be using AI or stock images or somebody else's things. When you're happy, you can just hit copy, paste it on your site and then play around with all that stuff. Now this is a listicle. If we go here, if you wanted to have a slightly different kind of blog post, you'd go through the same thing. So we could choose, uh, let's ch choose a different one here. But we just go with blog post as opposed to listicle. Now, a few different options. You put your keyword in here. I would personally check AI powered. That basically, if we hover over this, it means we analyze the top rankings and extract up to 100 topically relevant keywords to use in the art article. I would also choose my article length. We've got different options here. I'd probably go with, unless, <coughs> excuse me, unless I've done my research, I'd probably go with this. But ideally, you'd want to kind of see what's out there and keep it similar. There's no need to make it ridiculously long if other stuff is really, really short. Just use common sense. If it's too long, it can be repetitive and it's just not gonna you know, make sense. So let's just click on that one for now. The rest of the stuff is basically the same. So again, I'd choose first person, real-time data, I'd uncheck that. Again, if you wanna include key takeaways or FAQ, you can. You go basically through the same process. So that's how you would do that. If you wanted to change this, and let's say you would want to have a YouTube video to blog post, you'd have to put the URL of the YouTube video in here. It must be public and it must have captions available, otherwise you can't do it. Similar kind of deal, rewrite blog post, you'll wanna put the URL in here. If it was an Amazon product roundup, again, you'd put the keyword here, the Amazon domain, how many products you'd wanna do. Uh, this is really, really important to check. But again, just it's, is it really first-hand experience? It's not your review. So again, I'm not gonna focus too much on this because I find this a little bit unethical in my opinion. You can have as many of these articles being written at the same time. You don't have to do one by one. They've got a bulk writer option here as well. So the other two sections are koala magnets and koala images. So koala magnets are simple lead magnets that you can create and then you can embed within your blog posts uh, and you know basically get leads. So let's just click on create magnet and show you how this works. So let's call this Japanese regional food. Let's spell that correctly. Uh, generator, hit create. That is going to create the outline of our lead magnet and then we're gonna be able to amend this. So that's what it's called. So enter a Japanese regional prefecture that you're interested in, which is perfectly fine for me. Do I want 10 Japanese regional foods? Maybe yes, maybe I could change this to five, seven, let's go with seven. Um, but then if we come down here, we can change the placeholder. So I could change this to Tokyo, for example. Do we wanna build a list? Now, if you wanna build a list, you wanna make sure that this is checked. And it says here as the call to action, craving more, leave your email address for a deep dive into Japan's regional cuisines and the stories behind them. Well, that may not be what you wanna follow up with email. So I'm gonna say, leave your email address for a deep dive into all things related to Japan so you can plan your next visit. Uh, we can leave this as is, um, and then we can just test this. So again, I might put, for example, Nagoya, which is where I live, I'll hit submit. And this is what people are gonna see once this actually goes live. Okay, so down here we get the dishes. And I know from living here that these are real dishes in Japan. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's not giving me seven, it's giving me 10, but that's cool because I've not actually saved it yet. So we're gonna hit save. And then what we'll do is we can click on embed, we can take this code and we can add it to the HTML section anywhere on our blog post. And now if I've got a blog post about Japanese regional food, I can enter that in there. But the great thing is when somebody submits, they're then gonna be um, given a chance to opt in and they can go to our, they can basically provide their email address. Now if we click on Koala Magnets once more, you can click on leads, you will see all of the leads here, and then you can export them in a CSV file and upload them to the relevant list on any autoresponder. With regards to Koala Images, if you would like to use AI images, you can. Um, there are different kind of images you can create. So we've got all of these options here. We've got fantasy, anime, uh, isometric, photo. If we click on photo, we've also got premium model that we can turn on. It creates higher quality images and legible text if enabled, but it uses five times the credits. 
Do you want to create them for Pinterest? Do you want to create them for you know your website? Do you want square images? It's entirely up to you. Let's go with that one here. And do you want multiple images? Well, we'll go with one image now. And I'm just going to put something here. Now, the prompt and the detail of your prompt is going to be related to your image. Now, obviously, this is not mid-journey. It doesn't create images as good as something like that, but it does something, it, you know, it does a good job. So I might just put something like, um, let's go with a kind of Japanese food, grilled eel on rice, Japanese dish. And we'll just hit enter and we'll get an image. Now, we've chosen photo and premium model. Obviously, if we'd have chosen watercolor or isometric or fantasy, we'd get a different kind of thing. We've just got to wait for this image to be processed. And then once the image is ready, if we want to use it, you can embed it on your site. You obviously want, maybe want to compress it first so it's not so big. This particular one um, is a vertical one, so probably good for Pinterest. So it's good, but I can still tell that, you know, it's created by AI. But again, if you wanted to put this on Pinterest, you could. But for me, food, travel, certain niches, you want to be using real photos. But for certain niches, you can't just get photos. You know, if, you've, if you're in the, I don't know, something spiritual, for example, you can't just take a picture of certain things. You know, you have to you know, leverage this kind of stuff. So it can be really useful in certain niches. It's entirely up to you as to, you know, how much you want to use this. Um, you can check pricing here. You can go to your account here. They've got Discord if you want to actually go and get, you know, support and ask questions. It's all kind of pretty cool. Let's go back home. Okay, we can come down to the bottom. You can become an affiliate here. You've got the contact address here if you want to get in touch. I found their support to be very, very responsive. Um, you can view the pricing as well. So we've got the different price points they have. They have sales. Um, for me, I've got a couple of plans. So I've got a professional plan, which is billed annually. And you can see here, we've got this. And I did go and buy some credits as well, some one a one-time pack of credits um, that were made available. So I've got that as well. You can basically find everything that you want here. So go ahead and choose a plan. What I will say is this one may sound good because it's cheapest, but you will find that if you are using the writer that you'll blow through your credits and if we click on monthly, nine bucks a month, for, you know, that's the one that I actually got here, the professional. But I also bought a standalone set of credits as well. So that is Koala. Hopefully the review and walkthrough has given you some insight into how you use it. Again, if you do end up getting it through my link, reach out to me personally and I'll give you access to this um, Koala AI bonus. Other than that, thank you for your time and I'll see you soon. Take care.